pray, we will start. Yeah. Let us pray. God, we thank you for this hour. Once again, this morning, we confess that Jesus is the Christ. And Christ is the solution to all our problems. Mm -hmm. We thank you, God, for giving us the joy of salvation in our hearts. We pray for this evangelism school. Bless this morning lectures. Bless our pastor who is going to teach us. Bring all the participants. We also pray, oh God, for uh, our madam who is going to interpret for us. Bless her. Uh, mm -hmm. Bless our Dharampa mission. Bless all the missionaries, pastors who are doing the biblical evangelism to save different nations. We commit this section into our hands. Speak to our hearts. Help us, O oh Lord, to concentrate. We pray in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay, today uh, the subject is uh, EBS, a personal nurturing message, the textbook. So at first, I will explain uh, who is it. EBS agent. Okay, uh, I organize it with the four things. EBS okay, the EBS agent is the one who knows the concern of God. Okay. Uh, our God's greatest concern is in Acts 13, 48. Okay. It is the most God's concerning Bible verses. So the one who knows that God's most greatest concern and also, you know, God uh, says the most valuable, that is the evangelism. That, okay, the one who knows that is the EBS agent. Okay. And second, EBS agent is the one who knows the name of Jesus Christ exactly. Accurately. I will talk about it later also. An EBS agent is the one who has the exact ideology about salvation. And also he has the uh, basic foundation about the dark man nurturing. It means he is the one who knows you know, how the new believers are living. So that, okay, naturally, uh, the EBS agent already experienced the expanding of a dark man. An EBS agent knows, you know, uh, the people we meet among them, uh, there are so many thirsty ones. It means that, you know, he is the one who knows the correct defense methodology. An EBS agent is the one who teaches the biblical uh, events method to the person who are dying. Okay. 
So if the S agent knows that, yeah, okay, Evangeline is what God does. So he will, he realized, okay, Evangeline is not something to do, but evangelism is the thing which takes place. And so EBS agent is the one who knows the gospel correctly and uh, do not uh, do not sh shake. Uh, uh, from here, the word uh, okay, one heart and whole heart and continuation comes down. One heart means, you know, he thinks about only evangelism. Okay. Um, Pastor Yu, he himself, he really focused on the evangelism and thought about evangelism so much. So even though he saw the one of uh, the word, that is Jindoke. No, it is a, the, the sound is a little smell, but when he see that word, he thought about it. It is evangelism. Yeah. Uh, the whole heart it means, you know, we use every our app, uh, everything of us. Uh, the continuation means, you know, even some people bother us, but we do not care about those things, but we continue. 그래서, 이미지로는, 어, 이거를, 어, 알고, and EBS agent is the one who knows the six problem of man and is the man who can give the answer about that. 뭐냐면, so because of this, the EBS agent uh, needs is the way of salvation. 어, 우리... 그, 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 so now uh, Esther will deliver the way of salvation in English. Okay, now I deliver the way of salvation. At first, we should know that no, we are created by God. God created man. When God created man, he created man in his own image. It means God gave his spirit to man. So even though the man is a physical being, but uh, at the same time, man is a spiritual being, so he can enjoy uh, God's all the blessings which God gives to us. So Genesis 1, 28, it says, uh, okay, God bless man and set man, be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the earth and do and rule over it. So man, when man is with God, he receives all the spiritual blessings, so with those Blessings, even man can rule over all the creatures on this earth that he was permitted by God. But what man should think about it, you know, man is the creature of God. So he should rely on him and he should obey God and he should serve God. At the moment, the man can enjoy every spiritual blessings with those spiritual blessings that he can subdue and rule over all the creatures. So we say this is a covenantal relationship with God. So to, for men to realize that this true relationship, God gave one commandment. That is Genesis 1, no, Genesis 2, 17. That is everything is permitted to men by God. But men should remember he is the being who should obey and have a fellowship with him. So God said to him, uh, do not eat the fruit of good and evil. When you eat of it, you will surely die. Uh, that does not mean, you know, okay, because he ate one fruit, because of that, because that one fruit, he died. It is not. Because God said, do not eat. 
But when he eat, when he disobeyed the word of God, and he broke the relationship, you know, eating the fruit in that fruit, it means you know he break the relationship and um, the uh, he re, uh, break down the relationship itself. So because of that, he has no choice but to be separated from God. So anyway, this Genesis two seventeen was given for men to remember true relationship with God and man and enjoy the spiritual blessings and to live happy. Because of that purpose, this commandment was given to man. But what happened is, when you see Genesis 1, uh, Genesis chapter 3, uh, 1 through 6, okay, Satan, he deceived man and said, okay, Please eat the fruit of good and evil. When you eat of it, you will be like God. What does that mean? He says, okay, please eat that fruit, which God says, do not eat. When you eat of it, you will be like God. You know, uh, it gives man what? This kind of a um, meaning. Okay, God, he wants, to, he wants to become God alone. So he said to you, do not eat that fruit. When you eat of that fruit, you will be like a you yourself come to her. This kind of a deceiving uh, Satan uh, tempted man. But man who should obey the word of God. What entered into them? Because of the Satan's temptation, unbelief entered into man. Because this unbelief, man disobeyed the word of God. That is what sin. As the result of this sin, what came to man? Separation came to man. In all these backgrounds, who existed? Satan existed. So we call these three problems original sin. From the first man, Adam and Eve, they committed this kind of sin and separation came to man and they are caught by Satan itself. From that moment on, every man born from uh, Adam and Eve was uh, separated from God and they were born as a sinner. So, John 8:44, he said, your father is the devil. You know, from at this Genesis chapter three problem, man has original sin problem and were born. So already when they are caught by the Satan and uh, as a sinner, they were born. So they were separated from God. That is what the man just take. Because their father is the devil, so for men to serve their father, the devil, that is why Exodus 20 for five, the idol worshiping. God knows about this. So uh, God said to men, do not make any shake with the, uh, from the uh, anything on this earth. When you worship them, even your third and fourth generations will be cursed. Why? Idol itself is not the real God. When we, when man serves the idol, who works? The Satan, the evil spirit works. Because of that, you know, men have no choice but to be afflicted so much with this evil spirit. Why? Satan and the evil spirit are like the thief. So men who follow the devil, you worshiping the idols. Every problem came to man. You know, they were caught by the evil spirit. So uh, they became the children of wrath. First, what came to man? Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Men who should be with God, departed from God and captured by the evil spirit. And they are serving the idols because of this they do not have real peace so 
they have so many cosmetic problems. For example, insomnia and even the stress and even, you know, hallucination and all those kinds of stuff, they are afflicted. This mental problem influences to the uh, physical body. So men has every kind of physical problems. The most, okay, X4, XA4 through A. Men has some, uh, what the, um, the, the diseases, even uh, they went to the hospital, goes to the hospital, but you know, there's no cause, but they are afflicted physically with disease. And also they have what? The family problems, children problems, even financial problems. They have all these kinds of physical problems. With those problems, uh, they had hardships and then at last they will face death. But after death, what is waiting for them? Hell is waiting for them. So even, okay, people, many people think, oh, if I die, then everything will be over. No, even their physical body will turn to the soil, but their spirit, you know, as you know, man is spiritually, that spirit is not the physical being, so it will not die. So this spirit will go to hell. Eternally, they will be afflicted. And even this problem uh, will not be finished, even the man itself. These old problems become the spiritual inheritance and will be delivered to their next generations. That is what post street problems, Matthew 27, 25. With all these kinds of problems, men are afflicted. So men want to come up from all these problems. But what you should remember is all these problems came from this original sin problem, it means the fundamental problems. So even though they uh, try to come out of all these problems, they do what? They, they have the religions. Matthew 12, 30, 43 to 45. But the more they have the religion and they do the best, but the more serious problem came to them. Why? Religion itself is one kind of idol worshiping. So this religion is what? The man-made God. Men tried to want to meet God, but they were separated from God. They have no way to meet God. In the midst of that, they tried to meet God. That every effort, the Satan uses those things. And this Satan works in the background of that religion and idols. So the more serious problems come to men later. And some problems, okay, try to solve their problems with their like science or uh, philosophy. But those philosophy is the human basic tradition and it is what like a uh, it is a kind of deceiving so as you know well even though these days there's so many you know technology are developed but with those okay technologies even cannot solve the human's problem and also some people try to solve their problems with their good deeds isaiah 64 but this good piece of a human who are already crafted is like a filthy rag in front of God's eyes. So uh, the evidence is that, okay, a few, a few, last week I met one person, he had some problem. Uh, okay, he is a very nice and good man, but this nice, good attitude cannot solve his, you know, these fundamental problems. So what came to man, he has some, you know, diseases, a kind of mental diseases. So even he visited the hospital, but the hospital cannot solve his problem. Why the reason is 
Satan does not fear our good deeds. Mostly, the man who has mental diseases are good men. The evil ones, they do not catch the mental diseases very quickly. So with all these problems, with all these kind of uh, efforts, you cannot solve man's problem. Why the reason is, you know, all these problems came from this, these three fundamental problems. When you think about these fundamental, three fundamental problems, you know, uh, someone who can win over the Satan comes and save us. But is there anyone who is win over Satan? No one, even the Superman and the Wonder Woman cannot win over this Satan. And also, you know, before we are already, when we are born, we were born as a sinner. Before we commit sin, we were born as sinners. So we cannot solve these sin problems. So God, only the being who can win over this Satan, gave us the solution. That solution is what? Romans 5 8. When we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God gave us the solution, the Christ. Christ is the position, the offices to do the three works. The one that is what? As a king, true king. He break down the Satan's authority. So, First John three eight it says, you know, uh, okay. he broke the okay. The Son of God appeared is to destroy the devil's work. Christ is the one who break down the Satan's power, and the Christ is the true prophet. As a true prophet. He, he solved our problem of sin. So, okay, Mark 10, 45, the reason the son of God was not to be served, but he came to serve us, to give his body as a ransom for us. So, you know, he came as a true priest. So as a true priest, he paid our penalty of sin. And then John 14, 6, it says, what? He became the way to meet God. He became a true party. This Christ, Christ did the three works who break down the Satan and solve the sin problem and solve the separation problem. Because of sin, we cannot meet God, but he himself shed his blood on the cross. Through this, he opened a way for us to come before God. So Jesus himself said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me, said. So when you believe in this Christ, who is Jesus? Oh, this Christ is only what? Jesus. If Mary is the Christ, we should believe in Mary. If Muhammad is the Christ, we should believe in Muhammad. If Shiva is the Christ, we should believe in Shiva. But, you know, okay, last week I met one lady from India <laughs> and I asked her, okay, uh, I, I explained about the Christ and I asked her, is Shiva Christ? What? So her answer is that, okay, Shiva is man made God. It is what? It is not the real God. It, Shiva is not the Christ. Then who is that Christ that we should know? At the moment, we will believe that thing as a Christ, right? That thing is Jesus. The Bible testifies and the history testifies that Jesus is the Christ. To become a Christ, he should be one who, who doesn't have any sin, 
but Jesus came uh, from the Virgin Mary. It means that she, he doesn't have any sin. And also this Jesus, he died on the cross, shed his blood, even though he doesn't have any sin. And also as evidence that he is the one who win over this Satan, he was resurrected from death. Who holds the power of death? That is the Satan. But he resurrected from death. It means he won over the Satan's power. He won over the death. So only Jesus is the Christ. So when you accept him, when you believe in his name, you became John 1, 12. When you receive him, you believe in the name of Jesus Christ. God gave you the right to become a children of God. So you were transformed, transferred from the children of the devil. You became the children of God. As a children of God, you receive seven blessings. What are they? At first, it says about three papers. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Don't you know that? You are the temple of God and God's Holy Spirit abides in you. Right the moment you accept Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God dwells in you. And this Holy Spirit not only abides in you only, but he guides your life. So, John 14, 16 through 17 and 26. He teaches you and he reminds you everything Jesus told. So he will, the Holy Spirit guides your life. So you will receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit in Acts 1 a And also, you know, this Holy Spirit will give you the power. So when you are Filled with the Holy Spirit. It means you are totally captured by the power of God. At the moment, you know, you, know, you will experience the working of the Holy Spirit through your daily lives. It was the, okay, the three blessings. Because of your status is the children of God. So according to this status, what follows? The authority follows you. What kind of authority is okay? Um, Hebrew 1 14. The angels are given to a minute. Okay, the angels are given as a ministering spirit to the children of God. So you can receive the help of the angels. When you pray, God mobilizes the angels, and you can receive the help of the angels. And this angel is, you know, ascending and descending. He, okay, he gathers your prayer and bring these things to God and receive the answer from that prayer. And then he brings the answer to you. And also you have the authority to break down the Satan's power. So Luke 10, 19, it says, okay, God has given us the, okay, the authority to break down the uh, step on the, uh, okay, the snakes and the uh, scorpions. So no one will harm you. When you call on the name of Jesus Christ at that time, you know, the power of Satan, the power of darkness be broken down. Please use your authority. Even this power of darkness deceives your family and bothers the people around you so much. And even he's blocking your evangelism also. So please use the authority. You have the authority of the name of Jesus Christ. When you call on the name and in the name of Jesus Christ, you proclaim at the time, you know, the power of darkness will be broken down and bounded up. And also, you have a citizenship of heaven, Philippians um, 3, 
thank you. We are living on this earth. This earth is the Satan's kingdom. But now you became the child of God, even though you live on this kingdom of Satan, but you have, you can enjoy the background of the kingdom of heaven. Of course, when you die, you will surely go to heaven. But even while you are living on this earth, you can enjoy the background of this heaven on this earth now. And also, you have the authority. It is God's, okay, it is the greatest privilege given to us. That is why God wants to evangelize all, this, all the world with, through the evangelism, through using you. God wants to evangelize all of the world. So, Matthew 28, 16 to 20. Okay. Jesus Christ who has all authority in heaven and earth, he promised he will be with us. That Jesus Christ said to us, ordered us. Ordered, it means what? He will be responsible for that, right? He said to us, go and make disciples all nations and baptize them and teaching them to obey everything he told. So word evangelization was given us. We are the main figure of the world evangelization. So um, this kind of authorities we have. So every moment when you realize, when you confess the name of Jesus Christ, at the moment, you know, this is six non-believers, you know, faith will be broken down. And at the moment, you will enjoy the seven blessings of the child of God. Okay. This is the way of the salvation of God. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. We'll deliver uh, the message. Okay, uh, let's see uh, who and what is Christ. Okay, uh, today, uh, Esther uh, delivered the way of salvation. The core of the way of salvation, that is Christ, right? Okay, the meaning of the Christ, the word Christ is the anointed one. Okay. This Christ has three folded offices that they are prophet, priest, and king. Yes, yeah, right now, the picture is not visible. Ah, I'm not seeing it. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, now it's here. Oh, it's here. So, then, 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 Okay, the first number one, that is the prophet. Uh, the Bible verse is 14, John 14, 6. I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to Father except through me. Okay. There's no other way on this earth. Okay, mostly they uh, including India and around countries they believe in Hinduism. Yeah. If Hindu okay is the Christ, then we should believe in Hindu. But the Bible surely tells us Jesus is the Christ. Because of that reason, we believe in Jesus Christ. 
두 번째 제사장입니다. The second, uh, the Christ is the priest. 로마서 8장 1절 말씀해 보도록 하겠습니다. Okay, let's see Romans 8:2. 생명의 성령의 법이 죄와 사망의 법에서 우리를 해방해 드렸습니다. The law of the spirit of life set us free from the law of sin and death through Christ Jesus. 예, 죄와 저주는 법대법으로 해결해 두었습니다. Okay, uh, the problem of sin and death was solved through, okay, through the law, from the law. 우리가 그냥 재산을 받았다 그게 아니고 법으로 우리가 재산을 받았는데. Okay. Uh, it is not that we simply are say, uh, okay, our sin was forgiven. You know, legally, our sin was forgiven. Okay, uh, it is a, a little, you know, the, 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 uh, the. okay, for example, uh, we commit the sin, so we are present. Uh, uh, okay, but you know, uh, how can I say? Um, if I set free from the prison from that moment on, I'm not a sinner anymore. Okay, uh, the okay. by the law, we uh paid the penalty of that sin because of that, you know, okay, we are. No more sinner about that. Okay. Uh, about our problem, sin and the curses, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ paid the penalty of that completely. So, legally, we are solved. And another, okay, the other position of Christ that is King. You are okay, when we see First John three a, it said, you know, our Lord Jesus Christ came to break down the work of the devil. Okay. These three offices are anointed and established. Okay, we separate from these things, just differentiate these three positions from the you know usual okay, the position we call we put the true, the word the true, true prophet, true priest, true king. So Christ is the true prophet, true priest, and true king. 예수의 그리스도, 구약의 메시아, 신약의 그리스도입니다. So, uh, this is what the, in the Old Testament it is the Messiah. In the New Testament, it is the Christ. 음, 자, 우리는 시작하겠습니다. Okay, now time is up. So, we will have a break time and then we will continue. 어, 저, 전사님, 제가 카톡으로 두개더 보내거든요.